for the car. The car is now painted. We're starting to see the interior bits being mounted and it looks very, very good. Like what I see. The car is um, very much part of our search for the new Volvo look. Um, it is a bit of market research, the type of car how sporty can a sedan be, and this is extremely sporty. This has a fastback where the, the universe had what we call a notchback, albeit a sporty one, um, because we, we like to know what the customers of the future will, uh, would like to see. Well, it is not only that we show the design. We are also showing uh, another attitude of uh, Volvo, which is to be intuitive. We want to make life more uncomplicated for our customers and for our drivers. And this is a very good example in which direction we want to go. Well, I can't tell too much about the future, but obviously we're looking at this seriously and presenting it in public to get reaction. Serious questions are asked uh, to visitors to our show stand about what they think of this, um, especially as I referred to the profile of the car. But of course we're using design cues from uh, Heritage. There's a little bit of PV 544 in it, a little bit of Amazon, uh, not to the point where you could point to details and say, oh, that's directly from either of those cars. But we use the heritage in a clever way. We, we don't do retro design. We, we don't repeat the past, but we might remind of the past. And that's what's in this car. It's a thoroughly modern design, but uh, using some cues from our, our past to, to create a real Volvo. We feel things should be intuitive and so simple that it's obvious as to what to do. And it's like when you buy an iPad or an iPod or an iPhone, you don't need the book of instructions. You know what to do instinctively. That's exactly what getting into a Volvo should be in the future, that you know what to do instinctively. And this car is representing the first step in that, that move.